boom welcome back to the channel i'm hank strange this is stranger palooza and this is nick schmidt of sunshine state rvs what's, what's up? up hank what's up nick how are you man good what's going on it's the hottest <laughs> summer on record yeah. in the history don't of the look world at my, right don't, now don't look at my sweatiness <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing that could be done i don't even sweat just take your shirt off no, I don't think you can handle that. All right, so in this video. YouTube might flag you if you did that, Hank. Yeah, you're starting already. Um, in, in this video, we've we've done something similar to this. We've talked about the three Coachman Beyond we layouts have. or floor we plans have. that you can get. Yeah. Today, we're covering the three Coachman Nova, yep. which all, is on the ProMaster. All three of them. We got them here in yep. Gainesville, Florida at Sunshine yep. State RVs. So we have the Nova D. The Nova C and the Nova Rear Bath. Yep. All three of them are right here. Exactly. And we're going to get into all the details, compare it, and help you figure out which one you should get. Hopefully from Sunshine State RV. Hopefully that is true. All right. Let's get into it right now. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, ProMaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. All right, Nick. So yes. these are really the new chassis. Yeah, so um, these are the 2024. Two of them are the 2024 Coachman Novas. Mm -hmm. One of them is a 2023. Um, it's the one in the middle here. Yep. And you can tell by the chassis, the front end differences. Yeah. Um, the Ram's a little different. The headlights, the front end's a little different. Okay. Um, that's going to be the only difference. The interior's going to be the same. But but before we, we get into all that, so mm -hmm. Coachman is built in Elkhart, Indiana. All made in the U.S. They are one of the top-notch Class B manufacturers in the country. They've been, I mean, from 2018 when we started selling, 2017 when we started selling the Coachman product, the Class B, it has grown leaps and bounds. They just had the Galleria then, and they were introducing the Beyond. Right. And then they introduced the Beyond, and it, and it took off. Then they started introducing the Nova a little bit, mm -hmm. and it was just the rear bath. And people are like, man, we like this. And then they went to the Nova C a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Then this year they went to the Nova D. So what I love about a company that's growing and that's innovative and that's really, really pushing the limits and expanding every year, Coachman's doing that. So Coachman is innovative, high quality cabinetry, lithium, their build, their insulation. They're doing a lot in their vans and they really care about what they're making. So they're just not pumping out, hey, we can go buy ProMaster, let's pump out a ton of ProMasters, yeah. and that's our cheapest, quickest product. They don't do that. Yeah. So their Galleria, which is their top end Mercedes, has the same products as their Beyond, which has the same products as their ProMaster. Yeah, you same. know I'm a fan. I know you're so, a fan. Yes. Yeah. So uh, one of the things I do want to get into, this is probably, uh, you've just got a few of these left that yeah. doesn't have the new front end. Correct, is correct. Is there a deal? Can we get, you know? Yeah, they're definitely cheaper. Okay, all right, all right. They're definitely cheaper. Yeah, so that's that's a good thing, right? Yeah, no question. They, it's it's no different. So I, when we get in, you'll mm -hmm. see the 22 chassis has all the same safety features as the 23 chassis. Okay, so just the this interior. front end they is They have different. the same navigation mm -hmm. screen, the same push button start, the same digital dash, okay. all the same new stuff that the brand new fancy ones have. Mm -hmm. It's just the front end. The lights are a little different. Yeah, is that classic that, now? Is that called classic? That's like the classic, classic. edition. Yeah. <laughs> go with that, go with that. The classic <laughs> versus the modern or the yeah. new, what do you want to call it? I don't know, but Coachman this makes- is, This is pretty good looking. It is, it's yeah. sharp, it's sharp. It mm -hmm. also comes with these extra wheels. I won't kind of get into it, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, they make three floor plans on the ProMaster. So the C, okay. which is the power couch in the back, it folds flat to make a king size bed back there. The D, which is the newest model, that's the twin beds in the back mm -hmm. with the mid bathroom. And then there's the RB, which is the rear bath. And that has the twin beds up front mm -hmm. with the big bathroom in the back. 
Okay. So those are the three distinct differences. Mm -hmm. They all have the same Amish built cabinetry. They all have the same cozy wrap and rock wool insulation. They all have the same 630 amp hours of lithium batteries or generator, whichever these happen to all be lithium. I'm a big fan of the lithium. Mm -hmm. So are you? Yes, I am. Um, That's the only way to go. It's the only way to go. I have, I have, uh, I've, I've grown. You've tasted and you've seen? Yes, I've grown. <laughs> Go lithium if you can. But, so, you know, if you're on a budget and you don't want to go lithium right now, then the generator with the AGM, hey, it's fine. Falling on the budget. Good. Yeah. So I can't tell from right here which one's which. They all kind of look the um, same. I know which one is which. Well, I do, too, because there's yeah. a tag on it and I can see the window. The yeah. windows typically give it away to me, okay. but we have a silver one. This one is the D. Okay. We have a white one here. This one's the rear bath. Okay. And we have another silver one. This one is the C. Mm -hmm. um, I did try to get a good variety. So we got a white one here. Mm -hmm. We got one with the black upgraded wheels here. Yeah. We got these two are silver. We got one with the white cabinets, one with maple. We got one, you know, they all are lithium. They all have the Truma air conditioner. They all have the roof racks and the power awning. And Coachman mm -hmm. makes a lot of that stuff standard. Mm -hmm. um, but from here, they kind of have that same look. Yeah. Um, they all have the front camera, which is nice. So you got a camera in the front. You got parking sensors, which this is, like I said, the the classic version. Mm -hmm. Even the modern version has the camera and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, they all have the same running boards. So from the outside, space-wise, they're about 20 feet, 11 inches. Um, Height-wise, you can put a PDF on the screen right now that kind of mm -hmm. says all the heights and weights and specs mm -hmm. and all that. But I do know they're 20 feet, 11 inches. Um, on the ProMaster, it's a V6 engine. Uh, now it has the new nine-speed transmission. It probably gets you, what, 22 miles a gallon, I think people say? Um, yeah, I'm not, you know, 20, not exactly 20. sure. It depends on how you drive, That's true. how you drive it. A lot of it does. I mean, if yeah. you set your cruise at 60 like you do, Hank, and just kind of hang out in the slow <laughs> no. lane. No, I got a left foot, man. Oh, I know. I went on a, I went on a test drive yeah. with you the other day. I raced from every stoplight to the other stoplight. You and my wife both. <laughs> I'm like, there's no rush. We're good. Yeah. Let's just chill. It's the fun of driving. Yeah. So let me ask you this, which we usually do when we do this kind of stuff. Who's looking in general for a Nova, right? Or a ProMaster out there? Like, you know, I know there's different people, but yeah. who do you typically see? So, you know, these are made for two people. Mm -hmm. So they're seating for two up front. They're sleeping for two in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, Storage-wise, they're ideal for two. If it's one person, that's great. Mm -hmm. You know, more storage and all that. If, mm -hmm. if you're going to be sleeping more than two people in it, it is going to be tough. Okay. So it, it is two people. Um, and then from there, these are these can be parked anywhere. I mean, 20 feet, 11 inches. My wife's Escalades, you know, almost 19 foot, 18 foot, 6 inches or something. You know, okay. pickup trucks are almost nine. So mm -hmm. it's a foot or two longer. Mm -hmm. So these can be parked anywhere. You can work remote from them. With the lithium, you really have the freedom to go wherever you want. They have the built-in internet. They they have, mm -hmm. I mean, comfortable workstations. You know, Coach would make sure that you have the lagoon table with the comfortable workstation with with a double monitor. So that TV screen in the back can always be a monitor. And so, I I mean, you work out of yours. Yep. So absolutely. use that as a monitor. Yeah. Use the internet. Use yeah. the, the air conditioner. So people work from these. They, they use it. So, you know, people... Really, I would say the biggest criteria is one to two people. Okay. Anything more than that, it is. You know, the C has five seat belts. The rear bath has some extra seat belts. But if you're talking about sleeping and camping, a two-person yeah. situation is going to be the If you want to get so out of these three, if you want to get more than two people buckled, is it the C? The C has five seat belts. Five. Three okay. in the back and then two in the front. Okay. The uh, rear bath. Is starting to have seat belts on it as well. Okay. So in the past generations they didn't have it. Now they are, which is great. Okay. Uh, we'll have to jump in the D and C. I'm not sure okay. um, if the D has seat belts or not. I, I okay. don't recall. So which one do you want to go into first? So the first one. Let's start. Okay. So this is a D, right? Yeah. Did I so get that right. Okay. We're, we're not going to do a full walk around on each right. one. We're going to point out some of the differences. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you right now, this being the 2024, the newest model, mm -hmm. this has the new windows yep. so they have upgraded the windows where they are flat on the inside yep, look at that. or on the outside and they're tinted yep so you know trying to be considerate of us people who live in the sunshine state hence <laughs> sunshine state rvs gainesville yep. florida the humidity yep. um if i turn this camera around right now and look at hank it looks like he yeah oh swimming. i'm sweating <laughs> i'm sweating you don't want you haven't to turned me. the camera around yet i no, mean no no there's a reason nick 
keep going. Typically, you're like all up in well, it, your big right. finger, your face. No. We'll do something different. Not today, huh? It's all me today? No, you don't. Okay, there we go. We're both <laughs> suffering and sweating yes, out here. He's. Are. This is why he wears darker colors. Every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Every day. This is what I get for wearing lighter colors. So this is cool because from the outside, it looks like glass. It does. You can't it tell. Does. And it's smooth. Yeah. It is a... Um, What's this material called? Like acrylic? A, acrylic window? Yeah. And it's still, oh, there we yep. go. It's an acrylic it's window. It's got the depth and everything. It does, I'm gonna shut it. this and open it. Yep. Yep, see there so you go. So it does still open completely? That, that, it's still got that thickness Yeah, on so it. I love how these open completely. You can pass things through them. You have a nightshade and a screen. So they all have, all three of these have this feature, but this is new for 2024. This, this window style. Yeah. Um, you know, this particular one has the upgraded Firestone black wheels. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. So the tires are Firestone. And the wheels are like, a, I don't know what brand Some kind of, yeah. Or something. Yeah. yeah, I'm not um, sure what brand it is, but they're nice but though. I like it. Like I said, Sporty. the biggest difference between the three models are the inside. You know, this one's going to have more windows here because on the other ones, you. You know, the and then on the back side, there's there's not uh, as many windows. Correct. So if we went around the flip side of this, you guys would see, and that's based on bathroom placement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about the bathroom placement yeah. and the fridge. D. So this is the D floor plan. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, the Truma AC is running. You can yep. hear how quiet it is. Um, this is the new Truma Aventi. I guess it's not really new anymore. No, it's been what about a year it's and a half. A year, yeah, pretty approaching two at this point. How probably. do you like yours? Love it. There we go. These are awesome. Coach. They have a uh, built-in dehumidifier. Yeah, they, night. they run all the time, but but they're actually more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty That's cool. cool. Yeah. So th this D floor plan, what I love, has the big fridge. So it has a fridge here that you can, a big fridge here. And oh, then okay. It has so, the, this. so the person going for the D, is that typically a thing? They, they need that big yes, fridge, right? They want okay. the big fridge. Okay. The rear bath has a small fridge, and so when we jump in there, I'll point that out. Okay. The D and the C both have the big fridge, the but um, the rear bath has a small fridge. You know, this can be a freezer or an extension of your fridge. Oh, okay. So you, there's a setting you can turn on, and you can just make that be a fridge just like the rest of it. You can put your veggies down there. You eat a lot of veggies, don't you, Hank? No. Hey, Absolutely not. They're healthy, man. I'm allergic. To I had vegetables. quinoa and broccoli for dinner oh, last night. Oh. Thought Shame I was a rabbit. You. Shame on you. I'm 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 mm -hmm. trying to. No. I I hit 240, so I, <laughs> I, I need to bounce it. I need to scale <laughs> yeah. it back a little bit. Hey, yeah. eat smaller steaks. <laughs> So okay. I would be keeping my veggies in here, uh -huh. and I would be keeping my food in here. Ben right. and Jerry's is no longer for me. Oh no, not for any of us. No, <laughs> yeah. Ben and Jerry's. I need to live a long time to yeah. be with my kids, <laughs> so I'm not eating Ben and Jerry's oh, okay. anymore. That's not my reason, but okay. I know it's not. Okay, so, so this has a regular microwave. Regular microwave. Uh huh. It has the pizza oven, yep. which they all have. Uh, cool. Something pretty cool, Hank. If you want to spin around here, mm -hmm. um, you know this is the Firefly system, and so mm -hmm. in the three different floor plans, they're putting this in different spots. Um, but one thing Coachman just started doing in these 24 models is taking the Truma air conditioner out of the Firefly and mm -hmm. putting it in the Truma. Okay, so and separating. So, it. so there is a Truma iNet ready. Um, I I haven't actually used it, but there is. A uh, Truma app that you can use, mm -hmm. um, but Firefly now controls your lights, your tanks, and your batteries. Okay, they show you that, and, that and I think feedback from some people say that they would prefer to have less things that are in the Firefly. Firefly. Correct, yeah. correct. Because yeah. once that thing goes, it you all goes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. you know, this has your typical lithionics system here. Mm -hmm. Tells you how much longer. You know, you're at 79 percent, and we can run about four and a half hours with the AC on, mm -hmm. which is great. Yep. being at 79 percent. Um, they're gonna have the same size bathroom. So the C and the D are gonna have the same size bathroom. Um, it a is side bathroom. Uh, yes, a mid bath they call it. Mid bath. Mid, mid bath. bath. Give okay. the terminology, Hank. Okay. All I right. know you've only been been doing RV stuff for a few. Yeah, years. I'm allergic to mid baths, but I understand. Um, yes. Yeah. Decent, mid bath. Decent. The rear bath model <clears throat> is a little bigger, so mm -hmm. that is what people like about the rear bath is that there is more space in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, as you're walking. In this D model, this this is pretty neat. This is cool. This is the Amish cabinetry that is built in Elkhart, Indiana, right outside. Mm -hmm. I think in what like Mishawaka or Goshen or yeah, 
Middlebury. One of those places. <laughs> one of those places where you yes. see people. Hank, when I was there last, I saw people on a horse and buggy with a license plate on the back of it. Yeah. Either this Florida boy. <laughs> this Florida boy has never seen <laughs> horse and buggy with a license plate. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen many horse and buggies, no, but when either. I saw the horse and buggy have a license plate on the back. Yeah. When you go to a restaurant and there's 12 horse and buggies out there with license plates. This is serious business, Hank. It's cool. The government has figured out how to capitalize on horse and buggies. Well, this is true, man. The government always gets you. But it's so, good to know those horses will run uh, if an EMP happens. Yeah, someone, had, someone on our podcast asked about an EMP the other day. These are not EMP proof, by the way. Yeah. Um, so the cabinets are, man. The, the cabinets, cabinets, they are <laughs> Amish. They are made in an Amish factory. Yeah. So I love this. So I love this, right? Yeah. Spice cool. rack. I'd, put, I'd roll my socks up and put them in here. Yeah. Maybe put some snacks. I, you yeah. know, I don't have that many spices. No, that's, that's very nice. My that's wife nice uses feature. adobo. And that's the only spice that Puerto Ricans need. Oh, I'm gonna stay out of that one. Adobo. I know. What I've do you use? <laughs> what kind of spices do you use? Oh, I got adobo in my. In there my we thing. go. That's there what I'm go. talking yeah. about. We were down in Guatemala cooking uh, for the Guatemalan children in an uh, orphanage, uh, and my wife made me put adobo in their food. I said, "Mary, Guatemalans, I, I, you sure they want adobo like you?" I'm sure they've heard of adobo. Yeah, they have. Yes. Yeah, they had it in their pantry, and so we yeah. we, we, we yeah. cooked with the I cooked with adobo. Yes, <laughs> I cooked with adobo. If you're from the Caribbean like me, you've yes. heard of adobo. Um, so. so Dovetail, there's the, there's which the is dovetail. which is big. So this is the D floor plan has this here. The C floor plan has something like it, which I think is nice. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of other manufacturers just give you a, a like more of this, right? Yeah. Which Coach, you have this, you have oh, this yeah. and it's great. You have a wardrobe, you hang some shirts up yeah. here. These shelves come right out. But I love how Coachman gave you this extra uh, I think this is some extra space I mean, that uh, they were explaining to me that you get this because it's the the, uh, the ProMaster floor plan yeah. being wider and the way everything is so, laid out. That's why fun, you get Funny it. story, your transit is 22 feet. Mm -hmm. This is 20 feet 11 inches. Right. You want to take a wild guess at what has more space in this it. This one. The ProMaster or the Beyond? This one. This one. Yes. 20 crazy. feet 11 inches has more square footage storage uh, yeah. in space. So I guess it's better to be wider than longer in this case. Wider than longer. Don't worry about it. Don't overthink it. Don't, Don't overthink it. Yeah, it's so, a good thing. It's a good thing. Pl plenty of cabinets here as well. Yeah, and so this is the same the as the yeah. C as the D. Yeah. Well, what makes this unique is the twin beds. So we have a lagoon table that you can sit here. You can also sit here, and like I mentioned about working, yeah. So yes, you can sit here, have your laptop, and you can, what's it like, Chromecast or AirDrop yeah. or yeah. Apple Play? Yeah. You can do all of that to a second monitor there, mm -hmm. here. I, I actually sold one of these to a guy who did video production, mm -hmm. and he would film outside, bring the client in the RV, and from his laptop, broadcast it to the TV and show the client what they just filmed. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Absolutely. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, so do, there's yeah. a lot of stuff you can yeah, do. I do a lot of work out of mine. Having uh, two monitors. Got to open this one. Yep. Okay. Not going to say anything. Yep. Yep. Speakers, okay. stereo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got your stereo. In so the other, for a limited time. <laughs> the other cool thing that I really like. Remember, we're not doing a full walkthrough. Right? Yeah, I know. Quickly, quickly. I'm hey, listening. You're the one that rushed me the other day. Now I'm <laughs> rushing you. I'm just showing everyone this, but go look at our so, more detailed videos. On what's all these. cool is when these back doors are open like this, mm -hmm. you can you can slide anything you want in there, right? Yeah. So it's wide open. You slide things in, twin beds, dinette back here. Yeah. This Let here. Let me jump out here with you, because there's some cool stuff in this D. So this here can yeah. go in the middle here, and we can make a big, huge king bed. Yep. And then you have even more storage. I love how this works, by the way, too. Look, check it out. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Let me yeah, the, go ahead. Show have, the people. Do we have to move the lagoon table? Uh, yeah, we probably will have to move that one. Check uh -huh. that out. How great is that? Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is cool. Isn't that awesome? And if you, you could leave one off if you want to. Yeah, a lot of people leave yeah. this one off or that one. But what's nice is you have the twin beds if you want them. Yep. You have the king bed if you want it. Yeah, and if you don't want it. And if you don't want it, this doesn't easy. take up any space. Yep. It takes a half a second. And, and then 
What's also nice is when it's made up in a bed, you have a lot of storage underneath. Yeah. From front to back, you'll put golf clubs, litter boxes, mm -hmm. you know, kayaks, skis. I had someone buy this for skiing the other day. They said they can fit like six sets of skis under yeah. under this bed here. Yeah, and so I like how they, they notch this out, and then if you go under here, there's uh, storage. It narrows as you go back, but so it's like 55 inches going I had back somebody here. buy a 20C mm -hmm. ProMaster. They traded in for this because they wanted to put their litter box right there. Oh, okay. And they Makes said sense. everything else is the same. We love yeah. the twin beds, and we need a place yeah. for our litter no, box. No, it's a nice little nook. So, yeah, but yeah. this one has the 630 amp hour battery. Mm -hmm. We're ordering these with the 1260 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, okay. Yes. Very nice. So, we, we are getting our first one in, in the next couple weeks. So, we are ordering all no, the Novas and the Galleria, some of the Beyond, some of the different floor plans can't fit the extra battery. Right. But we are ordering them with the extra battery to have a 1200 nobody in the industry has a 1260 amp hour battery yeah i think gretch has a thousand american yeah. coach has I a think thousand the amp hour wars are on the amp hour wars are <laughs> on yes this there's yeah I'm, I'm with you no one that makes a lot of vans <laughs> well yeah i mean yeah. I, I guess you. Can there are some guys that have a bigger one <laughs> you can put a ten thousand amp hours in you want but look so, how big that so is so this is really cool there's now this is relatively new since this came out have you sold a bunch of these a is ton, it popular a ton yeah okay so it people is. appreciate people really like the twin bed people okay. like the ease they like the stores they like the little notch and and they like the coachman quality that comes with it but yeah. but it comes with all of these you know yeah. That's not any different, but but this is the newest floor plan. This yeah. is the one you probably haven't seen or heard of yet. Yeah. Um, we've done a video on one of these before, um, and I've done videos on myself of these. Yep. But comparing them this closely, the D with the C with the rear bath, I think is going to be good. People can you know really get an idea. Yeah. No, this is a nice floor plan. I like awesome. it. Awesome. Like Let's layout. move on okay. to the C. So, okay, we're going to do C. C next. Know. Which one's this? This is the RB. So uh, you know, this is my. Oh, this, this is, is a rear my bath. personal choice. So that's the D. Yeah. This RB. is the, the this RB. This is for the, uh, you know, the people who need more room. <laughs> so this is the rear bath, the RB model, not root beer. Right. <laughs> rear bath, Hank. Yeah, for really, it stands for really big. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> I'm bad. It's the same size, but for the bathroom, Vans it's the same size. Bathroom, yeah. But I'm, remember I did talk about the fridge being smaller. Oh, right, yep. So, so that's so, the fridge okay. is a little smaller. And the microwave is down the here. Microwave is down there. A little bit smaller area Your kitchen here. Kitchen is on this side. Yep. You okay. still have the second monitor. You still have the twin beds. Mm -hmm. Now these these can be some type of combining. You just have to get a little creative. Yes. Yeah, this but, being a little bit. Uh, this is, doesn't have the upgraded that upgraded stuff we just showed. Right. And I'm there, sure yeah. it will. Yeah. I'm sure the new models do. Just yeah. this model doesn't. But you could bridge it because uh, the cool. rare bath that I have is exactly like this. You could bridge these. And beds so even even these cushions are specifically made. Yeah. For, you know, like this. So they're mm -hmm. made to do that. I mean. Yeah. So yeah. And then what's cool is the big bathroom. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we did talk about window placement, right? So yeah. you got a big window there, big window here. So that's a big advantage of this. I think if you like having a bunch of windows in there, the rear bath is nice, right? Because yeah, tons of windows, has, tons know, of light, windows. and it still has the the awning style windows. Right. You can open them like this and you can keep them open. Yep. So pretty nice. Then you have a screen to keep mm -hmm. those big old mosquitoes out. Yep. So very nice as well. Um, lagoon table mm -hmm. and you know you can spin it you can use it you can do the second monitor like I just talked about mm -hmm. this one still has a 630 amp hours of lithium so if you are doing something where you where you don't have power you have solar you got lithium you have the uh, underhood alternator mm -hmm. underhood generator second, second alternator yeah. you have the the big inverter so you have the whole li3 lithionic system that coachman is known for right um and then like i said you know we're going to be upgrading some of those batteries but this is the biggest this is what you're really going for here this, this big bathroom yes. that you can get into um you can move around have some room there's storage so one of the differences with this there's not much as much storage up front but you've got storage in the back correct remember we had all those little drawers this one has yeah. some big drawers yeah it also has these are very convenient I, lo I love this kind of you know this is my this is my floor plan what are you storing here i'm about Oh, everything goes in here. Blankets. Oh yeah. You know, um, you don't Lola has shirts, to have her own. You know, Lola has to have her own bath stuff versus my stuff. She's got don't special. Don't she use a bar of soap to wash her hair? 
No, she's got all kinds of special things. I get the regular. I get like one thing that does uh, everything. Uh, they call it a three and one. Now it's a four and one. Yes, Pretty exactly. soon it's gonna be like an eight and one. Yeah, you can, can I brush my teeth? You lotion. <laughs> can I brush my teeth? Wash my hair? Wash my body? Lotion and deodorant all with one thing. If there's such thing. a thing, don't tell Lola. I mean, that's, that's what I want. Okay. That's all I want. One thing. Yeah. I want a five and one, eight yeah. and one, whatever it is. But this is really cool. Like in terms of uh, comfort for taking a yes, bath and everything. I agree. This is pretty good. It's got a lots big, of space. Uh, lots of space. You got a sink here. Mm -hmm. You got a mirror with a medicine cabinet here yep you can hang like i guess that's for toothbrushes one of the six yes. six toothbrushes in there i'm not sure one two three those, four yes. five what else you put there yeah uh, i don't know i don't uh, either that, that's your business uh, it's not my business i'm not gonna judge uh, so, there's a vent yes there's a vent that you can open and close with a light yep ish and then this is your curtain that comes and goes yep. around let's curtain. let's go out here yep. let's step out because there's some other because we're talking about storage and there's some other storage stuff oh, back yeah. here. So here's your, your TP. Nobody wants wet toilet paper. Yeah. So, and then here you've got... Check this storage. out. You got a screen. Yep. Very nice. You got storage here, storage here. All of it. Yeah. And the rear bath has a little bit of a tank placement differences. So the black tank is directly on the toilet where the gray tank is up front. Okay. So you do have you you do have two places where you can dump, which so is really nice. At, yeah, if you look at your dumping stuff, it would be different from what we see over there. Correct. Yeah. And I don't know if they've done a measurement of, of cubic inches of mm -hmm. storage to see if the D or the rear bath or the C, which one has more or less. It feels like um, it kind of balances out because it does. you get all the storage back It here, does, right? because you get a lot of stuff here. You don't get as much up front, but you get more mm -hmm. in the back. Where on the D we were just in, you get more in the front. So. Yeah. You know, I feel like it balances out. Yeah. Um, and as you mentioned, I think in the beginning, you mentioned that all the Novas have roof racks. Correct. So roof if you racks, really ladders, needed extra stuff, you could they put have, it. Because I don't know any have, of the other, like the Beyonds or the... They have tow hitches where you can put a box in the back. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of people do that as well. Yep. Um, you know, what the, the, the difference is, you know, people always ask me the question, what's the best one? You know, mm -hmm. I always tell you this. What's the best one, Nick? Mm -hmm. What's the best one, Hank? What's the best one? And, you know, the question that I always ask them right back is, how are you going to use it? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. For the guy that wants a bigger bathroom, mm -hmm. doesn't mind a smaller fridge, wants more permanent beds, um, this is the best one. Mm -hmm. For you, this is the best For one. For me, this is the best. The D, if you, if you need to store things down the middle and you just want one big mm -hmm. bed and you want to have all that storage underneath, you're never going to use it as a couch or any of that, mm -hmm. the C, the D is the best one. And what we hear in the podcast, for example, oh. I'll go to Sweaty Vision. <laughs> what we hear in the podcast, for example, is not everyone needs a bathroom. Right. They, some people just use it for storage. Correct. Correct. People have other options. I've walked in bathrooms and seen two sets of golf clubs yeah. and a piece of suitcase in it, a yeah. piece of luggage. Yeah. You know, so, not everyone uses it. Yeah. People have... Uh, Hacks for that. Let's put it that way. They do. Different they do. things that they do. And then on so, the outside of this, outside is the same. Like but like I said, that's that's the black tank. This is the gray tank, where it, it's a little different on some of the other ones. I noticed that they are doing the clear, the clear stuff now. So that way when you this is your it, black you, right there, and then that's your gray. That way, when you yeah. before you open it, you can see if it's loaded all the way up yeah. to the edge or not. And then you want to be real careful. Real. If that's not clear. Do not open. Yeah, do not. Be very careful when you do anything. Yes. From that okay. point. Yeah. So the first one we saw was the D with yep. the dinette and the twin beds. Yep. Second one we saw was the rear bath. Mm -hmm. Now this one is the C. Okay. Um, and like I said, from the outside looks the same. This one does have the flat windows where mm -hmm. if you look at these windows. Yeah, you can see that bump where These are more of a here. bubble window. This, this not is tinted. some of the 2023 stuff. Yeah. Where when we go on to the 2024s, you mm -hmm. can see some of the, you can see the difference here. Uh, a, lo a much sleeker look. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like the tent. I think the yeah. tent really Life. really goes a long yeah. way. You don't have to spend extra money for getting it tinted. True statement. Yep. So let's see. Now we're going in. Okay, okay. with this one, Nick, we get to see a different furniture color. Yeah, so this is a C model. This mm -hmm. has the C, I guess, stands for couch. Okay. Um, it has a different color. So the outside is silver, but the inside is the white maple with the mm -hmm. fog interior. So yep. nice gray color. As you notice, the same as the D, as soon as you walk in, big you have fridge. the big fridge. Yep. Big fridge, big freezer. Yep. Um, it's it's a lot bigger than everything else. And like I said before, this can be a fridge, that can be a freezer. 
This and, is uh, the fridge. Microwave. We didn't uh, we didn't do it in the other ones, but they all have basically the same uh, layout up front because even the rear bath is still the new chassis uh, on the inside, right? Not on the outside. So there you go. Way better dash and yeah. steering wheel. Push button start, electric um, emergency brake, nine speed transmission. The whole dash is yeah. digital. You have the top camera, bird's eye view, this mm -hmm. camera, that camera. I mean, you got yeah, the, uh, the the digital rear view, man, is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I, wish, I wish everyone else did that. And the seats for Coachman, uh, typically everyone's changing their seats, right? That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Coach but these are great seats. Coachman's using their Q phone, they call it. Yeah. And it is a higher quality phone than what comes with it from ProMaster. Mm -hmm. It's the same stuff they use on the bed or on the couch and all that. They're they're really, they're, they're stripping it down and making everything better. Yeah. They are. It feels a lot better there you guys can take a look at it uh nick says this is what like what what a burger <laughs> oh yeah the w it's bigger in the couch back here yeah we'll see. see you can see it in the couch yeah um okay so right white maple which is nice some yeah. people walk in they say i, I only want white cadmus right. i want it to feel and look as big as possible which is really nice mm -hmm. um this is the same size bathroom as the D model. Mm -hmm. The rear bath, remember, had the cabinets in it. This mm -hmm. does not have that. It does have the sink, but it does not have the cabinets like the rear bath. So, so a can you, um, just out of curiosity, so you got maple, yep. you got white, yep. um, Is and then is there another color? There's not, not in the Nova. Oh, okay. On the Galleria and the Beyond, they do a cherry. Oh, so you can get like a darker wood. You can. Look. But the Galleria, you can't get white. Oh, okay. But the beyond, you, the beyond. So the Galleria, you can get cherry or maple. Okay. The beyond, you can get all three: cherry, uh, maple, white. The Nova, you can only get white or maple. So I do like this uh, white look, and especially contrasted with this gray countertop here. Yes. So, yeah. So the gray is nice. It does mm -hmm. come with the white cabinets, and you know this one has. You know we we're talking about storage in the other mm -hmm. one because it doesn't have all the storage in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. It has the bigger drawers. I think the drawers were a little bigger on that rear bath, Hank. Um, remember all of like the um, so your your galley here was flipped over on the other side yeah. so maybe that is mm. a difference. And you guys can let us know what you think, which layout is best, or what features you like. This is really nice. So this is the this same is nice, yeah. same as the D. We open them all up in the D. So this is the exact same type mm -hmm. stuff. This is the same storage. So in in the D and the C, everything from like right here. Yeah. So cutting here and here forward. Seems yeah. to be the exact same. Yeah, so you know, we did one of these videos where we were showing this, and I said to you, oh, if, if Lola and I had this, I'd be lucky if I got one drawer. Lola was laughing when she looked at that. LOL. Yeah, because it was so true. <laughs> I didn't know why she was like, what are you laughing about? She was like, yeah, you know that's true. I'm glad you know. Lola still watches your videos? Oh, well, she has to. Someone has to look at it. She must really love it. finally goes up. Does yeah. she have the views on the on the thing? Probably. Does she just sit there all day and just watch? I don't think so. She doesn't have the time. Um, so, but yeah, so this is kind. Of, this is a nice. Uh, yeah, the so color makes a big difference here. Just color makes that. a big difference. Yeah. Everything from here up is the same. From mm -hmm. here back is where you feel the difference, right? Okay. So, so couch. We have the Whataburger couch. You right. see the W. Yeah. So this version has these two little side seats. We, they're called like. Uh, what are they called? Are they for your dogs? For your cats? For your no, like jump seats or have? booster seats yeah. or okay, you know. no, not seat belted. Obviously, you can't get anyone on this no, one. No, no, it even says not to. There's plugs here. Yeah, and, all and that. this has um, probably inverter or something under. Yeah, there. there's stuff under yeah. these. But you know the seat. We have a lot of other RVs that have the I like same the, I like this And this is nice. Storage. So you got storage here, you got storage here, that's you nice. got storage here, storage here, same thing over here. Yeah, One, that's cool. two. So, very unique. Mm -hmm. A lot of the other companies that have this, this rear couch like this, mm -hmm. they don't have that type of storage on it. They just take the bed all the way to the edge. And so I really like how they give you those few inches of storage. Actually, they give you the storage up top, um, and then when you fold this flat, it is a mm -hmm. king size bed. This is the lagoon table. Mm -hmm. It's not staying up for me for some reason. You didn't tighten it. I know. There we go. Let's see right there. Yeah. So if you remove that, you can close all of this down, make one big bed. Do you see a lot of people making this like a permanent setup? You or know, is it half and half? Yeah, think? half and half. I would say yeah. a lot. I would say some people do. They definitely come in. And they have a mattress pad, they got a sheet, they got their pillows mm -hmm. and everything with this permanently made up. Because what they like about it is A, they don't have to mess with it every day. Mm -hmm. And B, they can store stuff in from the front, they mm -hmm. can slide it in, they can store stuff from the back when it's laid flat 
you have that extra storage. Yeah. So people really like that. Um, but then some people don't sleep in it that much. They mainly watch TV or hang out. And so mm -hmm. those people aren't going to make this up all the time. Yeah. But you do have the seat belts here, seat belts here, and here. So there's three on the couch. So okay. that gives you five seat belts in full in this 20 foot van. So you which can is, have guests, you could take the whole family out with you. Not my whole family, I got, I got no, four you kids. You got extra people. Four, four kids, kids I got four. boyfriends. My kids have boyfriends, they got girlfriends. They all, we we, we travel like eight to 10 deep, man. Wow. Eight to 10 deep yeah. like everywhere. Somebody's like got to get voted off the island there. We were, we were, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna we have to just, start voting some of those people. Last week, off. we were just in Guatemala last week, and we brought yeah. friends, we brought all this stuff. We had to carry two vans, one luggage, one van for all the luggage, one van for all the wow. all the peeps. Yeah. So so when all this lays flat, you mm -hmm. have extra storage in the back, which is oh, okay. nice. You can lay, you know, I always lay in the beds. Yeah. Six you foot tall. You can fill this in if you want to. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of people don't, to be honest, yeah. because when they're sleeping, they get up, they just want to drop their feet yeah. and, and get out. out. Okay, let's go out here. So when this is flat, there you go. You can slide things in here. So yeah. with it covered, you can slide things in. And then and under you here, some, oh, some you do have some storage. This is the lithium cool. battery. There is exactly enough room to put another lithium battery right there. So oh, that, I see. So when we're doing the 1260 lithium package, we're going to have a when second. When do they start coming in? Two weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Pretty okay. exciting. Yeah, that's Very, cool. very. Like yeah. I said, nobody else is doing, no other streamline manufacturer right now is doing mm -hmm. 1260 amp hours. So very excited to be the first ones to, yeah. uh, to do it. These Novas are very um, high value for the money. They, they really are. I think, I mean, yeah. Like I said, one, one of the things that I love about Coachman is that they don't skimp out because this is a ProMaster. Yeah. So ProMasters are cheaper than Transits or Mercedes mm -hmm. uh, just because of the price of the chassis. Mm -hmm. But most companies, um, they end up making their ProMaster cheaper than like cheaper quality, cheaper everything than they do their Mercedes. Because they right? go with the overall package. Or they don't put lithium in a ProMaster okay. because, you, or whatever it is. But mm -hmm. Coachman puts the same cabinetry, same insulation, same lithium, same TLC. Mm -hmm. Tender love and care. Absolutely. Right? Just out of curiosity, in the Coachman line, right? Yeah. What do you sell more? Do you find you sell more Novas, more Beyonds, so, so, more Galleries? So it's funny you ask that. We were mm -hmm. we were just kind of looking through that mm -hmm. earlier this week, and we sell more Novas. Okay. Um, we we don't get as many transits, so Ford is still having an issue. Uh, I mean, okay. we're in August of 2023, wow. three years post pandemic, <laughs> two years, a year, whatever you call it, and they're still having it. Ford is still having issues getting the transit vans out. So yeah, we, we don't get as many transit vans, so mm -hmm. that's why we don't, we're just not selling as many. Yeah. For some reason, Ram was able to continue up. Yeah, that's what I was gonna continue. ask you. How is it possible? I don't know. How is it possible they did new, they went to a new chassis and they're still getting a bunch of them out there. Yeah, so I, I, explain that one to me. No idea, dude. <laughs> no, it's all okay. part of the- Someone uh, is I, is producing differently than the other people. I said it's all part of the Truman Show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who knows what it is. <laughs> but this is, a, this is a really cool platform, I, right? I would say I for, the, so. for the price that mm -hmm. these are, um, these are all, you know, when I say, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't typically give prices, yeah. but these in August of 2023, they're all in that 150,000 and below range. Okay. That's for like the Mac daddy lithium. And that kind of goes down from there. Mm -hmm. So for the money you're, you're getting a great van. I know that that sounds weird. Three years ago, vans were half that. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's not, that's, that's not the world we live in anymore. Yeah, I, I mean, nothing's half that, you know? Three years ago, a starter home here in Gainesville was 100 grand, now they're 250. Never see that again. <laughs> Never see $100,000 houses in Gainesville again. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But I will say this is a great option for somebody that wants, and, and really ProMaster has stepped up to where their vans are way more comfortable than they were two years ago. Mm -hmm. With the push button start, the, the nine speed transmission, the big navigation spring, all the cameras, all the safety features, mm -hmm. blind spot assist, lane changing assist, all the wit cross wind detection, all of those new features has made this very comparable to the mm -hmm. Transit or the Mercedes for less money. Absolutely. So, so let me say this here as we wrap up, you know, I don't know if everyone out there doing this kind of stuff 
gives as much details as this, so it takes obviously time for Nick and yeah. and the and the rest of your folks that work with you to set yeah. all of this up. So if you guys appreciate that and you're looking at this stuff, you really should take some time to check out Sunshine State RVs. Appreciate that. Uh, go for a test drive. These guys let you test drive. 100%. Drive it yeah. by yourself. Pull yeah. it into a restaurant. Eat. Yeah. Eat figure out if you can it. fit in there or not. 100. If you like how it drives or the not. The other day, somebody <laughs> came in. They're like, "Hey, my house is 15 minutes from here, and uh -huh. I don't know if it's gonna fit in my garage." I'm like, "Take it. Here's the keys." Oh wow. Took it to their okay. garage. And guess what? It fit? Did not fit. Did not fit. Yeah. So, I'm going to guess with uh, yeah, height and everything. So they, yeah. they ended up buying yeah. one from us that did fit. But, yeah. you know, they, mm -hmm. they, were the, they were able to do it because yeah. the flexibility we give, you know, we let you drive it. We yeah, let better you than you and, signed all those papers and you got home. But then, and then after, even after you buy it, though, mm -hmm. Hank, and you know this, we give mm -hmm. you a real thorough walkthrough, teach you how to use everything. We put you up at a campground mm -hmm. five minutes from us for mm -hmm. the first two nights. So you can test everything mm -hmm. for those first two nights. Yep. And then when you leave Gainesville, you know that you are confident everything is working the way it should and you know how to work it that's the biggest thing absolutely absolutely so i think if you guys appreciate it like i said check them out or check them out online check out the website all that kind of stuff yeah. all right guys we appreciate you hanging out with us big thanks to nick and everyone else at sunshine state rv we'll see you guys on the next one peace see you.